This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. had an idea about because basically the other day and many times I'm making videos about the HX Stomp and how it's incorporated in part of my kind of rig and building tones for it and everything like that I thought what if I didn't have the HX Stomp on my board so I, I did a video about how I actually use the HX Stomp recently and the jobs that it's doing for me I thought okay well what if I took that away what would I then use um, so basically when I'm using this board live uh, I'm using this to go to front of house and I'm using this for delays. So it's doing amp modeling as well as delays. So I thought, right, first of all, I want to have two easily switchable delays. And for that reason, the Miris LVX seems to slot in quite nicely, as well as uh, Angelo, one of the key, well, founder of Miris, used to work for Line 6. So that slots in quite nicely. Then... I thought, well, I need to still go to the front of the house. Basically, the way things work is that instead of using a microphone, uh, I tend to use some sort of amp modeler, generally the HX Stomp, um, which goes to the front of the house. That cuts down the amount of microphones that have to be on stage, which cuts down on feedback, number of open mics, that's the thing. Um, but also ends up being a little bit more versatile in case it's a scenario where really the amp might not work or in a scenario where maybe the amp collapses in a heap and decides to break down, just like two of my amps that are sat over there are getting ready to go to a tech tomorrow to be fixed. This is the last tube amp i am actually got in the house that is working. I mean, probably jinxed it now, um, but this is actually what I've been gigging with. So for that reason, I felt like the Warus ACS-1 might be a good 
uh, thing for this. It's got the ability to do two amps, so kind of like a dual amp thing. It's unique in that respect in the amp modeling kind of little pedal world. Other obvious candidates here for this sort of thing might be the Strymon Iridium, which kind of was one of the earlier things that was doing this sort of thing, still holds up really well, I think. Uh, or the Universal Audio Dream 65, which I think sounds incredible, has an incredible spring reverb on it, but I don't have one of those at the moment. Or I could go for something like the Tonex. Now, the Tonex is a little bit bigger on the board, um, but I might try both. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, so I need to wire this up. So wait, that was wrong. So my rig is going guitar into Angry Driver, which is doing a Martian in the Box thing, into the Keely Tone workstation, which has a compressor, uh, a blues breaker type drive, and a tube screamer type drive. Then I'm going into the LVX, and I'll show you what that's doing. Then out of the LVX, because it's a stereo, we can go into the ACS-1, which is then going straight to front of house, or in this case, the DAW. And then the left side of the LVX is going into my amplifier. So uh, what we get is this. So basically... This kind of fully clean. Then we can kick on this for our rhythm. For solos, I'd probably stack. Okay, and then over on the LVX, I've got a few things. So first of all, I've got my normal dotted delay. So that's like an extreme effect. Then I've got my normal solo delay. But I thought, what else I could do? It's got kind of like an... Kind of a, a flangery, compressory, slapbacky thing so that I could do some other kind of 80s inspired kind of tones maybe then. Just gives it a bit of another flavour. There is actually a boost on the ACS. But I'm not sure I'm going to be using that because it wouldn't be boosting into the amp. 
So that's the idea, and I think that would get me through a gig. I'm pretty sure. Another option I think might be to chuck the Tonex in place of the AECS-1. I might give that a go and see what that's like, but um, this can do my tuner. Uh, so that's that covered. Um, so I could pretty much get away with it, I'm pretty sure, but I don't have a stereo going to front of house. I've just got mono, but that's okay because generally I would just be using mono anyway. Um, are there any other bits? I probably not find it as easy to gig this with the acoustic because I have a preset specifically for the acoustic with the HX stomp, so I might have to think about another option for that. Um, but aside from that, I think this could get me there, I think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you be using if you didn't have a Line 6 piece of gear? I guess obviously there's the Fractal option or Quad Cortex option or things like that, but I wanted to go for something that was a little bit more board-based um, so that we had a little bit more diversity, I guess. Um, what would you use? Cheers.